Hi everyone, it's Leslie Yeoman here from Hungry Heavy Crafts and today I'm showing you these felt snowman gift card holders. This is a really fun way to dress up a gift card. I just could not think of the perfect gift for my nephew Kyle and niece Bethany this year. So um, we've gotten some gift cards so they could buy something that they really want. But I wanted to add a personal touch just to show them how much that they care. Now I got this idea from Pinterest so I will say click on over to my blog and you can see where my inspiration came from um, and let's get started on the project. So I knew that I wanted to use felt and I thought I would use my cuddle bug as much as possible so I've got some stitched rectangles this is a large rectangle set from Lawn Fawn and it's the second largest size and I measured it against just a, a gift card that was lying around on my desk it's from the silhouette and uh, it looks like it's a good size I bought some white felt and also some cream felt and I really wanted this to have a vintage homemade feel and I think one of the ways to achieve that is not to go bright white but have a little bit warmer tones like this cream color and I'm going to be using some ink to bring some further color into the project so I've now cut out four of these rectangles and I'm going to take two of them to create the back panel for each of my gift card holders and what I want to do is to create a little notch at the top so it's easy to put your thumb in there to pull out the gift card. So I'm pulling out my Spellbinders Nestability dies. These are the circles. And I'm going to hold it in place with a little bit of washi tape and run it through the machine. Now this die didn't cut out perfectly well. So instead of just pulling it, which will actually stretch the fabric, I'm using my scissors to cut through any threads that are still attached. So here I have these front panels and also the back panels are just above there and I picked up this really cute ribbon it's wire ribbon and it's gold and it's beautiful the video doesn't do it just in its justice it's just gorgeous it's so sparkly so I'll cut it in half and I'll use half for this little guy and half for the other and this is going to serve as a scarf for my snowman I pulled out my jar of black buttons and found some small black buttons two for eyes and one for um, a little button on his belly. I've got some green felt here from a previous project and I'm using my chalk runner to mark out the top of my rectangle and I've also did a little notch along here where the eyes are so I can just freehand use my chalk to create a, like a willy hat shape round at the top and um, with a little bit of a brim I know exactly where it is going to end. I'm just going to cut these out. Now this is actually doubled up so I can cut two at once. Makes it easier that way. And I didn't bother pinning it together but you'll see a little bit later on I actually do pin the uh, two layers together when I'm sewing it up. So I've cut out two of these semi-circular um, little hats and I've also cut a strip and I'm going to round off the, the edges on both sides and this will be the brim of my hat. So it'll go just about here and um, I actually meant to add this on when I was cutting out the, the top of the, the actual hat but I forgot so I just cut a separate piece and it's going to be the little bobble at the top. Now I'm going to use some stamps and I'm going to emboss on the felt. I've never done this before and to be perfectly honest it wasn't really a complete success but I thought I'd give it a go. I wanted to make sure that the embossing powder doesn't stick everywhere on the felt so I give it a good wipe down with my powder tool and I'm using some VersaFine, VersaMark sorry, to put the embossing ink onto my stamp. And give it a good push onto the felt. Now, as quick as I can I'm going to sparkle, uh, sprinkle this with some embossing powder. Now this is the gold tinsel embossing powder. It's one from Do Crafts and it's been in my stash forever. 
When I was tapping off the excess, I found that there was still quite a lot of glitter everywhere. So I actually held it over the bin and give it a good whack with my hand and then went and heat embossed it as soon as possible. Like I say, the image and the impression wasn't exactly perfect, but it still gave a really nice twinkle to the green. And you could definitely tell that um, it, it was meant to be a snowflake. It makes a big difference to the project, I think. So this is my snowman and here's my embossed felt and it's going to go uh, right about here and the brim of the hat will go just underneath it. My little scarf will go about here and I'm happy with that so I'm going to get stitching. Now what really gives this project the homemade feel is the stitching all around the, the felted pieces. I think this is called the blanket stitch. I've gone all the way around the um, circumference of that circle along the top there. I haven't bothered going along the bottom because that's going to actually be covered up by this little guy, the brim of my hat. And once again, I did the blanket stitch all the way around this guy. So now they're both all stitched together. This is going to lie around about there. Eyes are going to go here, scarf here, and a little button at the bottom here. Now I know snowman is complete without a nose, so I've grabbed some of my orange felt. And what I'm going to do is add some ink to the snowman's nose. I've picked out some distress ink in Rusty Hinge. I've just taken the excess off on a scratch piece of paper and I will admit I got a little bit inky fingers here but it really does make a, a difference to the final project having a little bit of depth and dimension with that ink. So once again blanket stitch all the way around the nose. It takes two seconds because it's so tiny. There it is. And then this was my favourite bit. I'm using the Distress Ink, uh, the colour is, uh, what's it called, old paper I think it is. And all around the edge of this creamy coloured rectangle, I'm adding a little bit of that warm old paper colour. You can really see the difference between the two rectangles on the bottom compared to the ones on the top. Even more so in real life. So now that I'm happy with it, with the felt being all inked up, it's time to sew on my little button. So I use some red thread to sew on the button because I'm going to be adding some other redder tones on the project. So I thought that would be a good idea to add a little bit of red there. And I'm lining up the hat so I can see exactly how far I want it to go down on the snowman's head. Now this is what brings this little guy to life. This is um, the Distress Ink Worn Lipstick and I'm using a finger dauber to add uh, some rosy cheeks to this little frosty fellow. And I'm going to soften the edges of those circles by blending out the ink with the finger dauber. Next up was stitching together the brim of the hat and the top of the hat and in fact this felt is quite thick so I can bring my needle only halfway in so you don't see it on the outside. Now I'm stitching the hat all the way onto this rectangle and along the top edge you will actually see that stitching through the notch so I've tried to make it as neat as possible all the way along here. It doesn't really matter that much because it is a homemade project, but it looks cute if you at least try to make it neat. There we go, so that's all sewn on now. Next up is the nose. And what I've done here is 
I've actually gone in over the stitches that were already on the nose, so you can't tell at all where it's been stitched on. And I only added three or four stitches. Next up was the eyes, and I used black thread for this because I'm actually planning to put some enamel accents on, um, on top of these eyes to round them out. I wanted to personalize the hat, so I've picked out this alphabet die from Quick Cuts and it's the Jacqueline font. And I'm using some red felt to cut out the letters B for Bethany and K for Kyle. This is a fun way to personalize these little frosty friends, but the die itself, the die cut is so fine. So I've used some small tiny scissors to get in the inside of the bee to make sure I don't pull or stretch the felt fabric because it's so delicate. Now I'm using some red thread and all I'm doing is stitching right over the top of them from one side to the other. So you can see here, it looks really cute and it's secure. Now it's time to attach the front and the back of the pouch together. And I'm definitely using pins for this one. It's a bit more um, important to make sure that it is all lined up and I want to make sure it looks perfect. So once again, I'm doing that blanket stitch, hooking this thread round so you get that thread all there on the outside. So now I've got the pouch together, I'm going to add the the scarf on this little dude and I've taken some creamy colored thread and with my hand inside the pouch to make sure the needle doesn't pick up any of the other side of the pouch I'm doing just three little tiny stitches along the the top and the bottom and they're minuscule they're just a little tiny uh, stitch to make sure that it's not going to fall off and now I'm going to embellish his scarf taken some of this jute natural twine that's from May Arts and I'm going to loop it like this twist the loop to make a pull knot or whatever it's called and I'm going to push the end of those that ribbon through here and give it a little pull and it will gather the scarf up really really nicely. So I'm taking one of these threads, passing it around the back and tying it at the front and I'm going to add another red element. This is some felt snowflake garland. I got it in Marks and Spencer's a couple of years ago and it's still going strong. So I've threaded the twine in through two of the holes on that snowflake and I'm adding a little green button. And tying a bow. Now like I said I did forget about the little pom-pom on the top of his hat so I cut a separate piece and I'm using some thread to gather it up and you can see I cut the top of it in a little bit of a more whimsical shape so it wasn't so flat and I'm going to just sew it onto the top of the hat. I'm not worried about it looking too messy because I'm going to decorate this as well with some more twine. I've picked out some little charms from my stash. One's a snowflake and one's a heart that says made with love. They're from Mayflower, you should check them out. They are have awesome little charms, they're beautiful pro for projects like this. And I've tied them at the top with a bit of red and white twine and also a little bit of the gold twine which brings the gold color to the top of the project. There was one other thing that I wanted to do was um, there was stitching visible on the hat behind where I'd sewn in the, the monograms. So I took a heart shaped die from Lawn Fawn and cut out some red uh, love hearts and I sewed them on. And then I trimmed off my little scarves to make sure we had, they were looking lovely. And off camera, I added some glossy accents 
to the eyes. Um, I think the video here is before I actually added that. Not glossy accents, sorry, um, enamel accents, the black enamel accents, and that gives them a nice rounded eye. You'll see better in the photographs. So here you have the, the finished piece. Um, I'm really excited and really pleased with how they turned out. Please do hit like if you have liked this video today and feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And you can always jump over to my blog at hungryheavycrafts.com for more tips, ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching.